The fire at South Africa's parliament has flared up again, even though emergency services said it was under control. Flames and smoke billowed out of the historic assembly building in Cape Town as dozens of firefighters were called back. A man is due to appear in court on charges of arson. As night fell, South Africa's parliament was burning again. The fire reignited by winds. A full day after the initial blaze was brought under control. Dozens of firefighters called back to tackle the flames, which have destroyed the National Assembly Chamber. President Cyril Ramaphosa visited the scene, where he met with emergency services. He said Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who was buried last week, often prayed for Parliament and for its key role in South Africa's hard-won freedoms. Well, this is devastating news. It's a terrible and devastating event, particularly after we gave the Arch what I would call the best send-off yesterday. The historic building houses thousands of national treasures, from important books to works of art. Officials say these have all been saved, but it will be months before South African lawmakers can return to the heart of their country's democracy. Well, for more on this story, we are now joined by journalist Ntakwana Natani in Cape Town. Uh, a fresh fire has erupted yesterday, a day after it first went up in flames. How did that happen? Well, from what we understand, there was some wood uh, and as well as wind, uh, because Cape Town is quite a windy city. So the wind flared up some of those flames. That's why we saw the fire coming back again yesterday. I was up at the parliament building up until 2 a.m. in the morning and firefighters were still at it. But a short while ago, I spoke to the spokesperson of parliament, Molopo Motapo, who told me that the fire is now under control and now they have forensic teams in place who are now investigating the source of the fire and the cause of the fire. But uh, they were delayed. They were supposed to start that work yesterday, but because of the flare-up, they were delayed. And now that work is beginning today. Well, a 49-year-old man apparently has been arrested, suspected of arson. What more do you know about this suspect? Well, we know that um, I'm here at the Magistrate's Court in Cape Town, and this is where any minute now the 49-year-old suspect is expected to appear. We understand that some goods that belong to Parliament were found in his possession, and that security services at Parliament found him when they saw that there was a fire. So whether the two are related, it is up to this court to decide if this man who's appearing today has anything to do with the fire itself in Parliament. But he will be charged under what is called the National Key Points Act, and that is an act that protects places like the National Assembly, where Parliament, uh, or at his Parliament, where the National Assembly sits. But one thing that I can say is that people are now beginning to ask, why is it? that you, have, suppose, you are supposed to have an NFL key point print class, you're supposed to have proper security, and yet you had this man uh, who was able to, at least according to security, enter the building and even be in a position where we are now suspecting him of being an arsonist. Well, as you mentioned, the question have been uh, raised of if there indeed was a deliberate attack on the seat of South Africa's democracy. So, But this has not been proven yet, has it? No, no, no. As I spoke to Molopo Mutapo earlier today, he said to me, let us wait for investigations to reveal whether or not the suspect is related to the arson and whether or not uh, this was a deliberate attack on the seat of parliament. I mean, this is a place where decisions for this country are made. But of course, there are other conspiracy theories about the desire by some members of parliament, particularly from the ruling party, to move parliament to Pretoria and to have the seat of the government of South Africa in one place, whereas at the moment you have the executive in Pretoria and you have the legislature in Cape Town. So these are just conspiracy theories. But I'll go back to the statement by Molopo Motapo, the spokesperson of parliament. Let's wait for investigation.
investigations, the forensic investigators are now in place to determine the source and the cause of this fire at Parliament in Cape Town. Journalist Ntakwanana Tani in Cape Town for us there. Thank you.